Moving on to some other news, difficulty in assessing sanitary part has become a hindrance for some women in maintaining personal hygiene. We tell you the story of how a mother of three, Wukai, has been using rag in place of sanitary towel during menstruation. Meet 25-year-old Rukaya Isa. Rukaya migrated from the northern region, met last year with her three children to seek greener pastures in the country's capital, Accra. She tells me how she has been making ends meet. The Kaya business is a game of chance. You may or may not make money every day. Any day I do not make money, I go for five or ten cities from my savings for upkeeping. Rukaya and her children live in one of the many shacks in the densely populated Old Fadama. Her children are yet to be enrolled in school as she is unable to provide their basic needs despite Ghana's free education policy. <laughs> Well, government has made basic school free, but how do I cater for other expenses like food, books, shoes, and among others? I do not have the means. Menstruation is a healthy and normal part of most women's life. According to UNICEF, every month, 1.8 billion people across the world menstruate. A pack of sanitary towel in Ghana costs between 5 to 10 Ghana cities and it's really available in pharmacies and shops nationwide. Despite the abundance of sanitary parts, some women in some parts of the country continue to use cloth during their menstrual cycle, while others have no or little knowledge on menstrual hygiene. She narrates how she had to replace parts with rags due to poverty. I do not have money. I use a cloth. I intermittently stop work, go home to change it, wash it and replace it with a new cloth because I do not have money to buy a pad. When I fix it in my underwear, it's very uncomfortable to walk. It mostly leads to vaginal itches. Rukaya displays the cloth she has been using as sanitary pad. 